Hey friends, it's Tracy. Welcome to today's video. I am so glad that you are here. If you're returning, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm, just like today's projects. Now today's a special day because I'm doing a collaboration with a fellow YouTuber uh, by the YouTube channel Crafting with Julia. I'll tell you about that a bit more, but let's go ahead and get into the cute Halloween DIYs. First up is creating this cute Happy Halloween sign. Now I started with one of these slatted boards from the Dollar Tree Plus items. It was $3. I'm also using this scrapbook paper from this cute pad that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I took off the jute hanger. Uh, later I'll share how I created a cute a ribbon hanger for this sign and so to help myself I just used my knife as well as my uh, needle nose pliers just to get out those staples so what I did is I just painted the sides and the back of the uh, this sign with a black paint and uh, if you cannot find this sign if it's if you want to make something similar you can get small boards like this from any home improvement store, Home Depot, Lowe's, that kind of thing. Uh, I also understand that Dollar Tree has some different wood items now. So I'm excited about that. So what I did is I just cut my paper to size and to attach it, I'm just using some Mod Podge. This cute pumpkin sign is something that I have had in my collection. I think I got that a few years ago from the 99 cent store, but you can, there are so many different sh uh, pumpkin shapes that this is just painted orange. It has black polka dots on it and you can, you know, create different signs like this. Okay, so the first thing that I did is take off that bow and then now I'm adding some doodling to this because this pumpkin is already cute, but I want to country charm fy it or Tracy fy it. And uh, I love my happy dots. I love my doodles. I love my paint splatters. And that is what I am just going to uh, just spruce this sign up just a bit. And so I just took my black Sharpie marker and just doodled around the edges. I also took that uh, same marker and just went around the happy Halloween uh, lettering just to enhance it a bit. I feel that the black Sharpie marker just does make your things or, or your uh, painted or my painted projects pop. And so then now I'm just taking a thin liner brush and I went around the edges of the pumpkin just to add some uh, squiggly lines or some doodling. And so then just now to bring the uh, polka dots out, I am just going around each of the polka dots just to add a comma or a little swoosh just to bring them out. And uh, so now I'm going to do some paint splattering. This is what you will find here on my channel. We love our happy dots, we love our paint splatters, and we love our doodles and our squiggly lines. And I'm so thankful that so many friends love it as well. If you're new here, welcome. I love to share um, the God-given talents that the Lord has given to me. And I am so grateful that so many like-minded friends love this look as well. Uh, anyway, to paint splatter, I um, just have a stiff brush and a stick and I just run it over my um, paintbrush just to project the um, paint onto the project. I make sure my table and everything is covered because it does get a little bit messy uh, anyway but I do black and then I follow it up with white for extra cuteness I'm just um, adding some Halloween theme fabric for uh, to wrap around the stem of the pumpkin now this fabric I did pick up from Walmart it's like their fat quarters and uh, just so cute with the orange and the black and uh, so just wrap that around the stem so then I'm using this uh, gingham ribbon from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to make a hanger for this sign and uh, this is how this turned out I just glued it uh, to the back 
uh, and everything is just nice and secure there. And so then I just painted some tumbling tower blocks black and that is going to give me the dimension that I like for my projects. Um, so I just secured everything uh, down with some E6000 as well as some hot glue. So now I'm going to make a messy bow or a junk bow. So I just pulled out some Halloween themed fabric um, that I had in my stash. The majority of it came from Walmart. And so I just ripped off pieces and then cut those down to about uh, probably four inches. And so then I have different kind of trims and ribbon, pom-poms, uh, different, you know, kind of just whimsical trims. I just have a pipe cleaner that I'm going to secure everything together and make it nice. I like to twist it around and make it really really tight on the back uh, because then my bow pops some friends have shared that they also use zip ties but I find for myself pipe cleaners work the best and so then I just uh, just glued that bow right there to the top of the pumpkin. I also added a um, small gingham bow like I did with the hanger just to the top as well. Just made a two loop bow and um, it just turned out so cute. I just love this so much. Just by uh, layering a couple of signs, you can make a cute different sign as well. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, today's a special day because I'm doing a collab with uh, Crafting with Julia. She is a fellow YouTuber that also has lots of fun things on her channel. I will leave the link to her video below because she is also creating some Halloween DIYs today. So thanks Julia for asking uh, to collab with you. I'm very excited about this collaboration. For this next sign, I'm uh, making a vintage layered trick or treat sign. Now the uh, wooden sign came from the Dollar Tree and here are all of the paint colors that I'm using. I'm going for a candy corn uh, kind of paint it feel with this. So um, if you are interested in the paint colors, uh, you know, you can go back and, you know, screenshot or watch which paint color I used for which uh, letter because I was going for a candy corn look. So um, the uh, jack-o'-lanterns, I painted a different orange. I think that was Spice Pumpkin. And so this is how the letters I just you know, I didn't want to bore you with painting the letters because it did take a, a bit of time. And so um, now to add some distressing or just to add some uh, sh shadowing, I just using my uh, vintage photo distress ink and uh, you can get this at any craft store or I do have it linked in my Amazon store. And I, I like to use this for, um, you know, just to bring depth to my projects. And so um, now what I'm doing is I have um, this set of brushes that I picked up from Michael and it has different foam brushes in it as well as some small um, circle brushes and so I'm using this very small one I think it's probably like a quarter of an inch and uh, or maybe a half yeah a quarter of an inch and uh, so I'm just making some polka dots on the black part of the um, the sign and uh, so then now what I'm doing is just taking the end of my paintbrush and um, adding some orange dots to all of the white painted letters just to add some character to my whimsical trick-or-treat um, whimsical vintage kind of sign. For my yellow or my gold part of the letters, I just took a liner brush and freehanded some stripes down, just adding some lines just for decoration. For the orange painted letters, I'm just adding like, uh, I'm just using my black Sharpie marker and just doing some um, wavy lines just to, you know, just to 
give these letters just some whimsical character. And uh, I was kind of going for like a rickrack pattern. But um, anyway, it is what it is. It's, you know, they're not perfect, but I'm not a perfect painter. Um, I really just feel that the beauty is in the details. If uh, you've been with me for a while, you've heard me say that. If you're new here, I'm so glad that you're here and blessed by your presence. I love to share um, painted items like this as well as um, all of these signs that I'm creating today are going to go into a wreath. I do also um, uh, design wreaths locally. I sell them in my hometown and so I like to share for inspiration here on my channel and I'm so glad that you're here. And uh, so then now to add um, a bit of pop, I like to outline all of my painted projects with my black sharpie marker and i use the fine sharpie brand um, as my favorite that's my favorite uh, sharpie marker to add to my painted projects because i really do feel that the beauty is in the details and it makes my painted projects pop I do kind of follow these same I like painting techniques in my projects because it is what I like and uh, I like to add some squiggly lines to my painted projects as well. My projects, my videos are jam packed with lots of little bitty details that add up to a very cute sign that I become so happy with and so grateful that the Lord has given me these talents that I can share here with so many country like-minded friends I am so glad that you're here so then now I'm just adding some paint splattering as well um, I like to use uh, just some brown covered um, paper that I got from Hobby Lobby just to cover my area because guys if you paint splatter um, it's going to get messy it is so just protect your project um, or protect your table or your work area either with placemats or some kind of covering um, tablecloths that kind of thing and so I just uh, now am just taking some of that gingham ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and just tying it around um, the stem of the pumpkin and just to give it you know just that bow on top of that little jack-o-lantern all of my projects today are layered projects and uh, I'm going to be using them um, for wreath attachments for the wreaths that I make, but you could easily transform them into a door hanger or a sign that you want to have just something cute, uh, like I said, to hang on the wall or door or even a shelf sitter. Just so cute. Okay, so for this next sign for the layering, I'm just using one of these 14 inch uh, just plywood wood signs that I get from Hobby Lobby and um, they're like I said 14 inches and then I also have this brown paper and I think I got this paper at Home Depot and uh, it's a big it comes in a roll and so I just tore off a piece of that and then just traced out the circle and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm kind of sticking with the vintage theme of this trick-or-treat sign so I crumbled up my uh, it's almost like a brown paper bag uh, kind of paper feel and so then um, I have it where it kind of looks um, I don't know just crinkled and, and that kind of thing and just to enhance those crinkles a bit I'm just taking that vintage photo ink and just going around the entire uh, like crumpled up paper just to highlight and you know just bring out some color into this paper bag and so then for my sign, I go around the edges of it because I don't want any of the raw wood to be showing. And uh, I go in a bit, maybe about a quarter of an inch uh, into the sign. That way, if I get my paper off a bit, when I stick it on there, it doesn't, you know, look odd that any of the bare wood is showing. And to secure it down, I just use some Mod Podge and I like to work in sections. I will, um, you know, smooth it out, use my roller as well as the Mod Podge just to make sure that everything is nice and secure. Okay, so to add a bit more, um, I just have this Rick Rack that I got from probably Hobby Lobby and uh, just added that on there to the sign. And uh, then to uh, stick down my sign, I'm adding 
some dimension because these are layered signs that I'm going to be uh, incorporating into some wreaths. But I wanted to give you some ideas, you know, that you could make for home decor. You could make door uh, hangers out of it, uh, make a shelf sitter or make a wall sign for yourself. Anyway, so I have all of that, um, you know, glued down my rickrack and uh, to attach my sign, I'm also using some tumbling tower blocks and uh, just painted those black and I just kind of put them on the back of the sign where you know no one would kind of see them and so then I glued those down also with some E6000 as well as some hot glue okay then to add a bit more I'm adding um, just some white polka dots to my rickrack and this is a great way to kind of dress up your rickrack if you don't want it to be you know just a solid color I hope that you are loving these layered uh, DIY signs that you can just transform into cute home decor. If you like what you see, I do have a, another collection video of 15 cute country Halloween DIYs. I will link to it in the iCard as well as in the description box below. Now for my next project, I'm going to need a bit of your imagination. I wanted to create a cute little ghost like she's holding a boo sign. I made a cute whimsical little face uh, just like with her saying boo like did I scare you like boo. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to need a little bit of your imagination. So I am um, painting one of these boo uh, word signs from the Dollar Tree. I just painted it black. And uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, use one of the tag signs from the Dollar Tree. And as I mentioned, or as you could see in the uh, picture, I have the boo on the side. And uh, so one of the tag signs, I wanted it to be a little bit uh, wider. So I I decided to pull out one of the signs that I had in my collection. This is just a Christmas sign, but it doesn't matter um, because I'm going to cover it and paint the front. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I wanted her to have some hands. And so I have these uh, wood pile shapes that I've had in my stash. You can get those at Hobby Lobby uh, in the unfinished wood section. And so I'm just looking here just to kind of see what shape I wanted uh, that would look more like hands so um I thought about one of them um like these teardrop ones at first I was going to use those but then um as I this project developed I ended up using the ovals that were in the uh package and so to get part this particular sign had that extra noel uh dimension on it so I just took that off and then I used I just used my heat tool to take off the sticker and all of that so I gave uh, the sign two coats of white wash, uh, just white paint and uh, let that completely dry. And then I'll move on to uh, covering the back. I just covered the back with just some black and white paper. And uh, then um, I just want to give a bit of coloring to the top. And so I'm just using some paper this is out of the same paper pad that I shared at the very beginning uh, with the happy Halloween pumpkin sign it is uh, from the paper pad from Hobby Lobby and so I just cut out this top part and then I just attached that just with my uh, adhesive tape You'll also see that I added a strip of this at the bottom, but as this uh, project developed, I ended up taking that off uh, and used it uh, in a different way. And so uh, to paint my sign, my boo sign, these are my favorite paint brushes. I get asked about those, so that's why I am sharing. I like this pack um, that it's the one stroke uh, brushes and I uh, also I'm sharing my fan brush you can find that links for those uh, in the description box below because I do get questions about which paint brushes I use and so I like the half inch flat paint brush and I'm just going to shade around my letters uh, I do that by dipping half of my brush in paint the other half in clean water and then I blend on a paper towel then I um, am just shading just some white paint around the letters just to give it some dimension
to make my letters stand out a bit more I'm using these uh, this paint it's called stickles and it's a glittery paint that you can get at the craft store and uh, usually it's found like in the scrapbooking section because the stickles it does say that it is for paper crafting but I use it on my painted projects all of the time and it's almost like puffy paint without the puff <laughs> it's just a, a paint that comes out uh, you know of the bottle and uh, I like this because it's a bit glittery and so it's perfect for my little ghost character anyway so I just go around each of the letters just to add some squiggles and uh, just to you know I'm gonna let that completely dry and then we're going to paint up our ghost really cute and whimsical so I let that stickle paint completely dry and then I just added some white splattering to my boo sign and let that dry as well. Uh, guys, you will hear me say so many times the beauty is in the details and I do um, love all of these gifts that the Lord has given to me and I am not ashamed to say it because everything that I uh, do comes from him and I'm so grateful that you're here that I can share this with. But just by adding just highlights just white highlights to my letters just brings out the uh, boo lettering so much all right guys let's paint this uh, ghost up really cute um like i mentioned while uh, a, a few minutes ago i had added a strip of that paper to the bottom but i'm gonna end up taking that off because it just didn't look right anyway so then now i'm using um just some gray paint this paint color is drizzle gray and i'm just shadowing uh just to you know kind of drawing out the ghost i like the almond shape of uh, you know for my eyes and so I usually start out by penciling them you know just using a pencil and then I'll use my black sharpie marker just to color them in then I'll go back again and add some black paint just to color them in and uh, just over the years I have just found different techniques that work for me and so then um, usually I do the almond shapes I just have you know where they gather uh, or they touch at the top and uh, then I make my cute whims whimsical faces like this then I'll move on to the cheeks and I like to use a uh, coral color uh, paint and uh, a, a stencil brush and I just um, you know just kind of you know just I like the more straight uh, or the rectangle cheeks and uh, so I'm just kind of adding some color here on this uh, board just to add some I wanted to give her a whimsical face where she kind of looked a little mischievous and so uh, I know that my projects have a lot of different steps but it is really the beauty is in the details and it just does take me a, a little bit and uh, so for the uh, hands I am using these ovals and then I'll shade that with the drizzle gray as well and uh, go back and add just some cute uh, hands and um, to complete this project so here I've taken off that paper and then I'm just going to expand uh, the ghost down the side and so then here I will start uh, drawing my little mischievous smile uh, I was kind of going for like I said a mischievous smile just to you know kind of where she is uh, like boo did I scare you that was kind of what I had envisioned in my mind and so uh, that's just what I'm doing I'm just taking my black sharpie marker and just kind of uh, just letting it flow as I was uh, inspired just to kind of make this little mouth and then I'll go back and enhance uh, you know it with some paint I start out with a pencil or either my black sharpie marker and then I'll go back and fill it in with some paint and then I for the white of the eyes um, I like to use just a round brush and just make uh, like a comma into the eyes and I really feel like just by shaping uh, your eyes will just depend on what your facial expression kind of looks like or which 
uh, way the face is like looking. And so I just do that just with a round paintbrush. Um, I also like to add just a, uh, a small nose as well as some eyebrows. I'll go back and enhance the mouth with some uh, white paint. And I'm just going to doodle up with my black Sharpie marker and uh, just different enhancements uh, just by adding the paint to create this whimsical face. I just created a small messy bow just to give her a bow at the top and uh, I punch a hole uh, with my crop a uh, you can get these at the craft store or I do have them linked in my Amazon store and just using that pipe cleaner I um, kind of attach it you know within that hole and secure it like that I find that it just gives a bit extra security and then I just uh, glue it in place. And I just glued everything down just with um, just my glue and uh, she just turned out so cute I did go back and add just a small piece of that paper to the edge and she is going to look so cute I just painted her up you know just just a little bit mischievous. Anyway, guys, I have so enjoyed doing these uh, Halloween signs with you today. Just so cute that you can take different, um, just different things, add them together to make your own signs. All right, guys, don't forget to check out Crafting with Julia. Her link is in the description box below. Thanks, Julia, again. I've enjoyed doing this collab with you. All right, guys, check out my other uh projects on my channel. I love to create crafty ideas with a bit of country charm. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. God bless.